Hey y'all, SEMA 2017 and uh, my buddy's over at the uh, Speed is the New Black Show built a 62 Chrysler 300 with a V10 motor in it. You might have seen the show, but anyways, I caught up with him at SEMA. I think you're going to enjoy seeing it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Yeah, yeah no, that. man. Thanks so much for giving me some time today, brother. Tell me a little bit about this 300. It was on your show, and like I was telling you, you know I'm a fan, right. and uh, friends you all's, but it's on DVR. I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, dude, that, that's killing us on DVR. We don't get your rating, so you're holding us down a little bit, but that's okay. At least you are going to read it one day, but or see it one day, but here we are. As seen on TV, we got a 1962 Chrysler 300. A lot of people didn't even know they made a Chrysler 300 back then, but they did. A 1962 here, original paint patina no rust beautiful car all the trims original everything on the car is original except for the drivetrain and then all the crazy amounts of custom sheet metal under the hood in the interior we tried to make an all all, all metal interior what we really was had in mind if anybody remembers our truck our shop truck named tiffany with the twin turbos on a 65 short bed this is a sister to that truck so we got tiffany as that truck and we got stephanie as this car um, so here we go I'll, I'll give you a rundown it's 1962 all original metal full air ride all got air ride technology uh control air pod air ride technology bags all handmade everything after that it's a mustang two style front end that's all handmade to fit the chrysler uh four link rear end with a nine inch rear end 20s on the front 22s on the rear lays frame on the ground that was the whole purpose an aggressive stance that makes or breaks a hot rod for to me in my eyes it's stance is everything on the no yes. stance is everything St you're right stance is where it's at so with that being said we got the stance all laid out we got to put a drivetrain in it it's being a chrysler and a big old boat that it is you know there's so many people doing late model hemis and this and that so let's pick up a a viper motor so we got a second gen viper v10 in there with the six speed behind it so now we converted the big grandma car over to a six speed so now it's a driver's car it's aggressive looking and aggressive to drive great fun bucket seats in the front bench seat our two bucket seats in the rear then it's got all handmade bead rolled sheet metal waterfall going down into a center console that goes all the way up to the factory dash we left the factory dash in it because it was actually the my favorite part of the car the dash makes the car the car itself in my mind it's kind of an ugly boat but when i looked at the dashboard i'm like oh man we could build something out of this right, you started with the dash and built the rest around it yeah the dash was there I just didn't want to mess with it, but it was a beautiful dash, and I'm like, holy cow, yeah, we got to do something to complement the dash and make, make everybody appreciate the dashboard. And then, you know, we get the whole car, the whole package. It turned out pretty cool. No, it did, and, and I, I agree with you. I think this is perfect proof that it, when you get the stance right, it becomes cool because this is no looker from the factory. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't, you know, the, the patina look. I mean, where did you find the thing without any big holes? You guys are from St. Louis. They got rust up there, dude. Yeah, we got really bad rust. It's hard to find a good patina car in St. Louis, and a lot of guys are making fake patina just because the style's so hot right now. We got lucky with this car. The, the car actually came to the shop. A guy owned the car, and the car come from wherever it came from, but it went around to a bunch of different shops, and nobody ever built the car. I think the kind of, it just kind of got stored there for a while. Nobody, nobody could get motivated. Yeah, they no, kept looking at yeah, it going, what are we doing yeah, with it's, that? It's the ugliest car right. in the parking lot. Nobody wanted to build it. Then it finally made its way to our shop, and uh, you know, with the patina being hot right now, that's what sold me on the car. It had great patina that light baby blue you know it's got that that old hot rod era color and then like i said that dashboard was really bitch looking other than that there was not much left to the car there was no motor in it no interior in it um so it was just an open canvas we had a big ugly body with a cool dashboard and a cool paint job we had to make the car cool and what, what we did to it i think we really we really anchor people in people got to check it out and they shake their head like wow they never seen something like this or or then the stance just you know wows them because they never thought you could make something like this look cool and it's actually really fun to drive too oh i bet it is i bet you get a lot of attention too yeah, and i agree now if, if y'all have not seen tiffany of course scottydtv.com use the search because i shot that that's actually where i met these boys at a couple years ago in louisville you had the uh, nomad wagon gone right. mad and you had tiffany right and i actually come to find you for tiffany before the nomad wagon right. i mean i love this patina stuff man it's just way cool right for sure and and, and that happens a lot that that tiffany 
you know the patina on that and then being a truck a c10 truck everybody loves a c10 truck right now and then tons of exposed bare metal you know the nomad has the same kind of metal work in it but it's all finished and painted and people overlook it and when it's in bare steel people love it and they get it and it's real and they want to touch it and they want to talk about the sheet metal work so that's why we left everything bare steel in the sister car to, so it would match Tiffany and we get the same draw of people looking for that raw natural finish. Fellas, you guys rocked it. I like the show. For people that are not familiar, Scott, what channels that actually come on? Uh, the show that we're on is called Speed is the New Black and it's on the Velocity channel, which is a sister, cha sister station to Discovery. Um, second season we're going to start filming here in january so be looking for it next year 2018 probably i'm going to guess in the fall area it could be wrong but we are doing a second season but i know you can go to a velocity go app and catch all the old old episodes from season one we did eight eight episodes in season one two cars an episode so there's 16 fresh builds that you can watch that we did in our shop and no drama no the guys this ain't this is not your normal show these guys are, are cool dudes they get along they build a car they make clients happy and they run them down the road yeah exactly i'm glad you said that that was our whole part of the deal you know we're trying to put st louis on the map or the midwest in general there's lots of hot riders there's lots of hot rod collectors there's a lot of hot rod talent right through the Midwest. It's more than just California or Texas. There's a lot of hot riding all over the U.S. and Midwest is a big hitter too. And we wanted to put the Midwest on the map and we wanted a show that was real, no drama, no scripted bullshit. It's just all hot rod dudes doing what they love. And the drama is the parts that don't fit for you guys at home, it don't fit for us in the <laughs> shop either. And it creates its own drama. So it's just as real as we can make it. That's right. Well, fellas, again, I appreciate uh, what y'all do, building cars keep up the good work on the show and I'm always glad to be associated with you cool thank thanks, you brother thanks for having See us you. so there you go from the SEMA show 2017 and my boys over at the classic car studio speed shop and the show speed is the new black 62 300 with a Viper motor and teen it out slammed to the ground you gotta love that hope you all enjoyed it See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.